Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tenen with one last reminder that I'm going to be doing a live GED math class on January 2nd, 2018 in the new year. So we're just a little bit past Christmas here. Uh, today is the 28th of December and in a few days we're going to be doing that live class and celebrating the new year, getting ready for the GED test. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what you're going to see in that live class just by doing it right now in this video for you to check out. And then below in the uh, in the description section of this video, you'll see a link where you can just go click on that link and directly sign up to join us. Again, 7 p.m. Tuesday, January 2nd, 2018. But let me go ahead and jump into this problem. So this problem I have up here is called an inequality. And an inequality is something that has a greater than or less than an equal to sign. So in this case, 3x minus 15 is greater than or equal to 6x plus 45. So you still work these kinds of problems out as you would a normal e equation. But I'm giving you an example right now of the special rule. So let me show you. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to get our x's over here and we want to have that is equal to a number over here. So um, the first thing you want to do in order to do that is do the opposite. And if you know my system, you just do the opposite. So um, 6x, the opposite is minus 6x. And if you do it to this side, we have to do it to this side. So that's going to give us a minus 3x. And then the opposite of 15 is positive 15. And if we do it to this side, we have to do it to this side. So that's 0. And that gives us greater than or equal to 45 plus 15 is 60. Now we have minus 3x is greater than or equal to 60. Now there's a special rule when uh, solving inequalities is that whenever you are uh, dividing or multiplying by a negative number, then you need to change this sign. So right now, this sign, I'll just put it over here to highlight it is greater than or equal to when we divide by a negative we're going to switch it to less than or equal to and that is just simply a rule when you're solving inequality so let me show you what I mean so because this is x multiplied by 3 we're going to do the opposite which is division so we're going to do x divided by negative 3 and if we do it to this side we're also going to do it to this side 60 divided by negative 3 is negative 20 because a negative divided, a positive divided by a negative is a negative number, and then a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so that just leaves us x. And then with our new sign, less than or equal to, because we had to do the change because of the rule with inequalities that requires us to change the sign when we're dividing by a negative number. So again, your answer is going to be x is less than or equal to negative 20. Now we can check this out. We can go ahead and put in this negative 20 value in for x. So negative 20 times 30 will give us negative 60 minus 15. And then we put in a negative 20 here. Negative 20 times 6 uh, is a negative 120 plus 45. So this plus or minus that will give us a negative 75 and then a negative 120 plus 45 would give us a negative 75 over here. So we will see that that is greater than or equal to. So it's either greater than or it's equal to, and you see that that is true. So again, if you want to work on problems like this, I invite you to join our live GED class on Tuesday, January 2nd at 7 p.m. California time. And then you can calculate it if you're mountain, it's 8 o'clock. If you're central, it's 9 o'clock. And if you're in the East Coast, it's 10 o'clock. But we're going to be doing problems like this and also word problems. So again, if you need help with this kind of stuff, join us because this class is going to help you out. Thank you.